Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I want to talk to you today about giving the enemy no room to enter in and attack your life. So one of the reasons why um, the enemy is able to come in and attack your life or even attack your God or day love story is because, you know, number one, you know, we're not praying every single day. We're not on our post you know, praying against the schemes, uh, tricks of the enemy, right? But number two, we, we usually wait to pray uh, when we start seeing things happening in our life, right? So when things start going crazy in your life or you see your spouse off with the counterfeit, that's when we usually, you know, run into our prayer closet. And, you know, the... By that time, it already manifested in the physical realm, right? Everything is spiritual first before it becomes physical. And so one of the things that I do, you know, because I really learned from the lesson from last year, you know, because I was real relaxed last year. I wasn't on my post um, in the beginning. I wasn't on my post the, the way how I should have been. And as a result of it, the enemy came in and was able to attack my life, right? and attack my spouse as well and so i learned from that and that has taught me stay on your post even when things are going good and and it seems like the enemy has left you know and stop attacking me you still stay on your post right so one of the things that i do every single day you know it's just built into my everyday routine um when i'm praying in the morning um, of course, I pray over my spouse. I pray over myself. I pray over my children. I pray over my business. I pray over everything, okay? The school system, our neighborhood, whatever God brings to my mind, I pray over my clients. I pray, okay? Because I, I, I understand the power of prayer. Prayer can change things, okay? And so... Um, in the morning, that's what I'm doing on my praying, right? And I do some prayers at nighttime as well, but in the mornings when I really go in, okay, because I'm, I guess because I'm wide awake and I'm out, you know, and about, but I always pray, um, against, you know, any witchcraft attacks curses, spells sent my way, my children's way, or even my, my spouse's way, right? I say this every single day. I rebuke it and bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. I also rebuke all black magic spells sent my way, my children's way, and my God ordained spouse's way. You know, I don't give the enemy any room to enter in. I rebuke all monitoring spirits that comes to monitor, you know, my life, my children's life, my spouse's life, that tries to monitor my progress, my success, my business. I I rebuke all these monitoring spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Another thing I say is um, I rebuke every seducing spirit, um, and I and I specifically focus this on my spouse. Uh, not saying that I can't be seduced, but this is my this is what I I pray in the morning. I rebuke every seducing spirit that is trying to seduce its way into my God ordained spouse's life, seducing him away from his heavenly father, seducing him away from his prayer closet, seducing him away from the word of God, you know, seducing him away from truth, right? Because this is what, you know, this is the devil uses women, you know, I'm just be honest here. The devil uses women, you know, who have that Jezebel spirit to seduce our man away from God. And so you want to always stay on your post praying against, you know, these seducing spirits, these spirits that try to uh, seduce prodigal, you know, who have repented and are now back in right standing with God, trying to seduce them back into that prodigal lifestyle. Uh, you want to pray against these things and you want to do this every single day, okay? So that the enemy is not giving any opportunity to come in, okay? So I pray against these seducing spirit. Then after seducing, I go to rebuking Jezebel and Deliah, you know, because even though I have seen um, majority, all of the counterfeits being removed. There's some new counterfeits that try to spring up. So I got to stay on my post. I got to continue to command Jezebel, Deliah, and Hagar, and whoever else, these counterfeits who keep trying to rise up, be removed and cast into the sea, right? I got to continue to rebuke them and bind them in the name of Jesus Christ, right? So stay on your post. Stay on your post. Even if you don't know, you might be wondering, you know, if, you know, uh, witchcraft is being done on your spouse. Listen, if it's not being done, it may be done on your spouse in the future. So go ahead, cover your spouse in prayer now, okay? Go ahead, rebuke the enemy off your life because I'm going to tell you something. Because as I was, um, after, I, after I recorded the video from earlier about how to recognize a witch, I remember this one particular time. 
I was interacting with this witch and I wasn't aware that she was a witch at that time, but um, I was fasting and she came to my um, unit and she was like, what are you doing up here? You know, <laughs> her whole demeanor was, you know, just, just completely off and something in my spirit I know now it was Holy Spirit telling me, don't tell her you're fasting. And so I was like, oh, nothing. I'm just up here on my computer, you know, just, you know, on the computer playing around. And she was looking around my place, you know, and I and I kept saying to myself, she's trying to figure out what I'm doing. You know, she's trying to, you know, something about this fasting that she's picking up in the spirit. I knew that she was wicked and an evil woman, um, but I didn't know anything about being a witch at that time. And so that is the thing, you know, that's the case. When we are on our post every single day, they can't touch you. The only reason why, you know, witchcraft can take effect on a person is because we're not on our post. We're not praying. We're not fasting. We're not, you know, uh, reading the word of God so that we know what to look out for, so that we know what are, what are our weapons, right? That we use to, you know, defeat the devil. So stay on your post, okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you in today's video. You know, give the enemy no room to enter in. Stay covered with the blood of Jesus. All right. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.